it, it's going on. I mean, there's still plenty of ethnic cleansing going on in Africa, and there's terrorism going on all around the world, and there's just a lot of fucking people that quite literally need to be killed. Like, they just don't need to reproduce, and they don't really... It's, it's, the, the point is, we have this thought that we can reason with people that think it'd be a good idea mm-hmm. to stomp out a certain ethnicity or put a burning tire around somebody or the way you could get rid of AIDS is by raping a virgin. If that's your idea of, you know, if that's something you believe in, you're batshit crazy and you need a fucking bullet in your head. And I'm all right with that. Like, I'm I'm very cool with killing people that will potentially go on and kill other innocent people. If you're not innocent, I would like you dead before you do a number on people that are living, whether I know the living or not. And we have to, first off, we have to get comfortable with that notion. Like, all right, load up the Predator drone, go find Bin Laden's second in command, and put his ass in the ground, too, because that's what we'll do. And if you notice, it was funny because I was riding home from Fox today um, talking with Kevin Hench, who's a friend of mine and my writing partner. And he said, uh, you notice ever since we launched an unnecessary war about 10 years ago, people have been kind of leaving us alone. Like ever since we went, hey, we'll fuck you up and we don't necessarily need a good reason. Like George Bush, he wasn't right. We don't care. We'll fuck your shit up whether we're right or whether we're wrong. It tends, I, I, I will tell you right now. It's an interesting strategy. Well. It's true. Yeah, well, I guess it works. Let me explain something. It's real simple. The people we're doing battle with are sort of cavemen. I yeah. mean, emotionally, look, they're just simpleton fucking idiots. Literally, they are cavemen. They're li- literally cave people. And they don't understand, they wouldn't understand if, if, if they were the size of Danny DeVito and they ran into Dolph Lundgren in a club and Danny spilled his drink on himself and Dolph said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was all my mistake. Let me buy you another drink from the bar. They'd go, fucking right, you buy that drink or I'll kick the shit out of you. And if Dolph said, no, listen, I don't want any trouble, they'd go, well, you just found it. Now take it outside. Now, Dolph Lundgren's a fifth-degree black belt and would beat the shit out of Danny DeVito. But as soon as Danny DeVito, meaning them, hears that guy apologize, because they're so primitive in their thinking, they think, oh. Weakness. Weakness. I'll kick his ass. Of course you're not going to kick our ass. A, there's no such thing as Allah. And if there is, you better wake him fucking up because he's been napping on your ass. B, we'll kick the shit out of you and put you in the fucking ground. And the reason we'll do it is because we don't have Allah over here. We got slide rulers. And we got guys working on shit. And that shit shoots spent uranium out of a fucking Gatling gun that's mounted on the front of a fucking A-10 warhog that will go through three inches of fucking armor. And I know you don't have armor because you're too busy praying to Allah but we'll fucking shred whatever the fuck you're on. Do you understand? So shut the fuck up. We will fucking ruin you. I have a boner. Now get your (laughs) shit together. Shut the fuck up. Sell your dates and raise your fucking kids, and we won't have to fucking shred you. But you get the fuck out of line, and we'll get that C-130 that just drives, just floats in circles with a fucking Gatling gun and rains fucking spent uranium down on your ass and shreds everything. Everything. Because we don't have Allah. We have We've got Dolph. laptops, Dolph, and slide computers. Slide rulers, and all we do is fucking figure out ways to kill people more efficiently. 